Okay, so now we're going to get your site installed. Now, this installation training also goes for the Upgrade 2 blogs that you purchased. If you purchase those, this training will teach you how to upload those as well. Right now, we're going to be uploading um, the uh, uh, Camping and Hunting Shopper Portal site. So what we need to do is log in to your cPanel. You need to have a domain name. You need to have at least one domain name and a hosting service already. So log into your cPanel. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to File Manager. Okay, when your File Manager comes up, if you're putting this on your main domain, you will see your main domain here. If you've added add-on domains, you will need to click the arrow and select the add-on domain that you're putting the site on. Okay. Or if you've created a subdomain, you can choose the subdomain here. We're going to go into the web root and click go. Now, if you are putting this on your main domain, you won't have anything here. You may have one file called the CGI bin, but other than that, if you're putting it on your main domain, you shouldn't have anything here, okay? If you're putting this on an add-on domain or a subdomain, you will see the folders for those. So you want to choose the folder that you're going to put the site on. Okay, so if you are putting it on your main domain, which is public HTML, you would click upload at this point. Now, I've created a folder here, and I've called it your domain. So we're just going to pretend like this is your domain here, okay? And we're going to go inside that folder. And you're going to see I have some files here, but these won't be here um, whenever you upload. Okay, so your folder will be empty. At this point, we're going to go and click on Upload. Okay, now we're going to click on Browse and you're going to go into the folder either the commercial license or the personal site license so if you purchase the commercial site license that's the one you want to install okay we're going to upload the zip file that starts with camp shopper commercial and then we're going to click browse again and choose to in uh, upload the installer okay so once that's uploading we don't want to click off of this area here okay we're gonna go back over to our cPanel home and we're gonna go create a database for this so we're gonna to go to MySQL database wizard okay and we're gonna create a database name so I'm gonna call it camp 3 you can name this whatever you like we're gonna click next step and now we need to give it a username, so I'm going to name it the same thing. Now we need to generate a password. Make sure that you take this password and put it on a notepad. Once you've put that on a notepad file, check the box here and click Use Password. And now click Create User. Okay, you want to make sure and copy this information to your notepad as well. If, you, if your username and database are different, then you want to copy both of these. If they're the same, you can just copy one down. Once you have that done, click All Privileges and click Next Step. Okay, at this point, you're done with the database and you can click the Home icon. Now we're going to jump back over in our browser tab where we have our files uploading. So I'm going to pause the video and when this is done, I'll come back. Okay, so once the files are uploaded, you can see they've completed here. We're just simply going to click this link to go back. And now you should have the zip file and then the installer.php file. Now we're going to go ahead and open up a new tab in your browser. In the new browser tab, you're going to type in your domain uh, forward slash installer.php. So it will look like this. You can replace your domain.com with your actual own domain. So your HTTP, your domain, forward slash installer.php. And that will bring you to this screen. Now what we're going to do is put in our database information that we created and put on our notepad. So we're going to paste that there 
and make sure there's no spaces. Okay, my database user was the same. And now we're going to paste in our password. Okay, so we're going to paste that in. And now we're going to click Test Connection. Okay, everything is good. You'll have success. And now we're going to scroll down and click or check the box and then click Run Deployment and then click OK. And wait for this to complete. Okay, it will go to this screen and we're going to click Run Update and let this finish. Okay, next you'll see this screen and what we're going to do here is click on Save Permalinks. It will open up in a new tab and now you will need to log in with the login details that I provide for you. Okay, so in your downloads, you're going to open up this notepad file that says Camping and Hunting Shopper Portal Login, User Login. You're going to open up that uh, notepad file. Okay, so you're going to use that information, those login details, and click Login. Okay, so we've logged into the site, and now we're going to go ahead and right click here, and then we're going to open this up in a new tab. And what we're going to do is check the site, and make sure it's all there and installed. Okay, once we see that it is, we're going to go up to this area here, okay, and we're going to click Remove Files Now. After you do this, your site's ready to go and start the uh, setup, and that will be in the following videos. And remember, this install video goes over is for the Upgrade 2 blogs as well. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video.